What's up guys, Brandon here. Midway Properties, we have your Macomb County October 2020 real estate market update. Let's jump right into this. So we have a couple things here. I always preface, we've been doing this for five years and I preface with two things. We have the month in arrears because we have the data, it's all finalized, it's in. And we have three years of data because one year wouldn't make any sense. So the trend is your friend, remember that in, in investing. In, believe me, you are investing. You are investing either an asset or a liability when you're in real estate. We've talked about this many times. There, we have videos we've talked about the difference between the assets and liabilities. So we'll, uh, we'll save that for uh, another day. But let's jump into this. Days on market, 34 two years ago, 39 last year, 29 this year. We've seen this across the board. Big drop off in uh, inventory, so drop off in days on market as well. Active, this is a month wide number. Uh, or sorry, this is a one day number. When the video is taken, how many homes on the market at that time? 1721 two years ago, 1951 last year, and 1094 this year. So we're seeing about a 50% retracement. Uh, it really across Southeast Michigan here, which is insanity. Months of inventory, one, one and a half, and then 0.75. So, seller's market, crazy seller's market. One to three months is a seller's market. Four to six is a balance market. Seven plus is a buyer's market. So we are in some crazy times right now. Uh, just absolute insanity, truly. So keep plugging away and sellers are making out. But again, it's going to scourge buyers eventually if we keep running into this and keep running into just battling and battling and battling. New homes in the market, 2002, two years ago, 1998 last year, and then 1734 this year. And this is a month wide number. So how many homes actually came on the market during that entire month? Well, we have a, a decrease here going forward, a fairly big decrease than we've had. And we already had low inventory in the year prior. So we have some interesting times ahead, November, December, January, February. We'll see what happens there on the sold side, what ends up planning out. But we have low inventory and we've had this and the lower interest rates don't seem to be necessarily helping. Uh, the market's hot because of that and it's getting people to want to buy still and prices are going up a ton because of that. But in, in things are flying off the shelf, but there's not a lot of inventory on the shelf to go around. So some people are discouraged and have dropped off the market. This next one, again, we're an anomaly over here, and this happens sometimes where you've got one number in the bunch, it's an anomaly. Price per square foot, 108 two years ago, 160 last year, 126 this year. So, you know, you might say, okay, you know, what's going on here? And I should say this this is probably more of the anomaly than anything. Uh, this probably went up to 115, and then this one up to 126, something like that. This, you know, again, if you have some really massively priced homes uh, go off the market, or, you know, different things that happen where it can skew the numbers, you might have that here. So uh, if you take that and uh, buff by your square footage, you're gonna give them your approximate value on your home. However, if you want, if you truly want a valuation on your home, you have to have someone on our team, so an appraiser come out and actually value the home. Because this is countywide data, I remember that. So it doesn't take into consideration you, your specific house and your neighborhood. So sold, the last one here, this is the people actually closing on a home, actually sitting down on the closing table and closing. 1,401 two years ago. 1,303 last year, and then 1,474 this year. So we're seeing it a little bit of a jump up this year, really across Southeast Michigan. But again, that's because we've had the glut of homes coming in off the market really the last few months. And now it's starting to turn the other direction. We have a lot less inventory going forward. So it's gonna be very interesting. And remember, this isn't like, oh, we're comparing other months to each other. This is just all October, you know, just different years we're comparing. So we have way less inventory going in the market going, you know, going forward here. So it's gonna be very interesting times. Stay buckled in, stay tuned. We're going to be giving this data to you constantly uh, like we've been for five years now. We appreciate your time and your attention and, and our mind. The biggest assets we have, using our, feeding our mind with our, you know, using our time to feed our mind. And that's the biggest thing we can do. And that way we can make great, detailed, informed decisions. If you're on the podcast, go to at Legacy Group MI, at Legacy Group MI on our Facebook or YouTube channel. Go put your questions, comments, concerns there. We will answer them and then we'll see you guys on the next one.